This next question was question 4 on the higher paper and question 20 on the foundation. Now it says Ollie drove from Liverpool to Manchester and then Manchester to Sheffield. So if we're going Liverpool to Manchester and then Manchester to Sheffield, there's two parts to his journey. So from Liverpool to Manchester, the distance, I'm going to put D equals 56 kilometres, that's from there. Then from Manchester to Sheffield, the distance for that is going to be 61 kilometres. His speed from Liverpool to Manchester was 70 kilometres per hour. So S equals 70 kilometres per hour. So we've got that one. On the other part of the journey, from Manchester to Sheffield, his time was 75 minutes. So we've got kilometres per hour there. So 75 minutes is one and a quarter hours. So that's 1.25 hours. And that's usually the part of the question that catches people out. So we've got to work out his average speed for his total drive from Liverpool to Sheffield. So what we need to do, we need to work out total distance divided by total time. So here, we've got the total distance already there and there, and we've got the time there. We need to find the time for this first part of the journey. So if we draw our speed distance time triangle, speed equals distance over time. So time, if we put a finger over that there, it's going to be distance over speed. So time is going to be D over S, which is going to be 56 over 70. And that's going to be hours. I'm actually going to just leave it like that for now. I'm not going to work it out as a decimal. So we want what's his average speed for the whole journey, Liverpool to uh, Sheffield. We want average speed equals, it's going to be total distance over total time. So the total distance is going to be 56 from there plus 61 over the time for the first bit was 56 over 70 plus the time for the second 1.25 and then we'll let our calculator do the hard work. So we've got fraction 56 plus 61 over I'll put a fraction down the bottom 56 over 70 plus 1.25 equals press SD and our answer 57.0731 so equals 57.07317 so I'm going to round this to it doesn't tell us how to round, I'm going to write 57.1 and then I'm going to show here how I've rounded this to three significant figures. Now the second part of the question says Janie drove from Barnsley to York. Her speed from Barnsley to York was 80 kilometres per hour and from Leeds to York was 60 kilometres per hour. Janie says that the average speed from Barnsley to York can be found by working out the mean of 8 and 60. If Janie is correct, what does this tell you about the two parts of Janie's journey? Well, it can only be one, two. So the first one would be that the time of the first part of the journey took the time as the second part. So you could write time from... Barnsley to Leeds was same as time from Leeds to York. And the second answer if we look at the two speeds, you'll notice that the speed in this one is 80. The speed of that one is 60. If we do those as a fraction, 60 divided by 80, if we cancel that down, that cancels down to three quarters. 
So what we've got is this speed here is three quarters of that one. So the other answer would be if the distance from Leeds to York is three quarters of the distance from Barnsley to York. So I'm going to put or if distance from Leeds to York is three quarters of distance Barnsley to Leeds.